Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of relationship security, something stable, something long-term, someone who sees a future with you, and they are invested in this relationship. So let's see. We have the Eight of Cups, Water Energy, the Devil in the Reverse, Capricorn Energy. And we have the Queen of Swords air energy. So you could be moving towards this Ten of Pentacles after having to release something else, something that didn't amount to much. You know, it's like you're having to make a difficult decision here because if you have this goal of having this Ten of Pentacles, there's a connection here where you felt almost like attached to someone who wasn't really able to give you this Ten of Pentacles. So it looks like you're walking away because you know you deserve this. There's something about this Ten of Pentacles coming in. Someone who will be able to be there for you. Someone who will be solid. Someone who will, you know, have this vision for the future with you. There's a power couple energy there. But it's requiring you to let go of something that you know isn't it. You know, because with the Queen of Swords, it's like you're having to cut something out. And with the Eight of, Eight of Cups, that's knowing your worth you know, showing self-respect and dignity and upholding your standards. So let's clarify these cards, um, Scorpio. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles again, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So again, there's that, that vision for the future. So we have the Seven of Wands, Fire Energy, the Eight of Cups again, Water Energy, and the Death card, Scorpio Energy. So you are being encouraged to let something go, allow something to end so that you can make space for this Ten of Pentacles. With the Seven of Wands, it does look like it's not something that's easy for you to do, and it may require you to kind of, you may get a bit of resistance or pushback, but there's this feeling of having to stand your ground. The Death card does show an energy of letting something go, and heavy energy of walking away from what no longer serves you. Okay, so... I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Scorpio. Okay, we have balance, spirituality and practicality full moon in Pisces. So really making a head over heart decision, kind of weighing out the pros and cons here, you know, making what's a decision that's best for you here. Okay, so let's see. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So you could have been dealing with someone who struggled with addictions or the relationship itself was addictive and codependent and difficult to let go of. But with this balance, your spirituality and practical, it's like you're having to really use both the head and the heart when making this decision. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have determination and creative achievement. You can't use up creativity. The more you use, the more you have. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Scorpio. Okay, you have surrender your need to always be right. 
Give others the gift of letting them be right. Be yielding, not rigid. This will help resolve conflicts and improve your relationships. So yeah, there's a situation here where you could be hesitant to walk away because you you, you know you you made a decision at some point and you were very invested. Um, you may have really believed in someone and they let you down. But there is a need here to you know you know to not be too stubborn here. Be open to doing something differently. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.